This is Birdie. Birdie is a happy bird who likes to sing. She lives in a nest in a tall tree. Birdie feels cosy and safe in her nest. Birdie likes to catch worms and talk with her friend, Mr Frog. Mr Frog lives in a pond with green lily pads. One day, Officer Jay came to see Birdie and Mr Frog. There's a big storm out at sea, Officer Jay said. The storm is going to push the seawater up onto the land. We call it a storm tide. We think the water might come all the way here. It won't be safe for Mr Frog to stay in his pond. And your tree might not be safe either, Birdie. Birdie felt scared thinking about seawater coming all the way to her home. She also felt amazed. What a strange thing to happen. We would like you to come to the emergency shelter, Officer Jay said. That way you'll be safe. Birdie and Mr Frog had never been to an emergency shelter. They had to quickly pack a few things they would need. They felt a bit scared and a bit excited. The emergency shelter was a big building. Lots of people were there already. I don't like it here, Birdie shouted. It's too busy. I want to go home. This is the safest place right now, said Mr Frog. We can go home when the water goes down. Some children were playing a game in the corner. Come and play, said Helper Sam. Having fun helps to pass the time. Birdie and Mr Frog did some puzzles and coloured in some pictures. It was very noisy in the shelter, but when Helper Sam sang a song, everyone joined in. Even though Birdie was having fun, she felt worried about her home. What if the seawater flooded Mr Frog's pond? What if it knocked over her tree? I know you feel worried, Birdie, Mr Frog said, but there will always be people to help if we need them. That made Birdie feel better. Later that day, Officer Jay called for everyone to listen. The seawater has gone down again. You can all go home. It's safe now. Birdie and Mr Frog said goodbye to the new friends they had made at the shelter. It was a bit sad to say goodbye after they'd had so much fun together. We'll see you again, their new friend said. Phew, what a relief. The seawater had not reached Birdie's tree or Mr Frog's pond. Everything was just the way they had left it. Birdie and Mr Frog were so happy to be home again.